everyone, Jen with jenknodal.com and today I want to tell you, I want to show you how I make um, spaghetti squash because I think it's really delicious. You can make it one of two ways, um, but definitely I always bake it first. But yeah, if you've ever seen these and you're like, I wonder what people make with that. Well, I'm going to show you what I make with it. So first you got to use a big knife. They're kind of hard to cut, but you, uh, you cut it in half and then um, you gotta take a spoon and then you gotta scoop out his guts, just uh, kind of like a pumpkin. Then I, uh, I put him face down on a, uh, I got a cookie sheet, it's one of those uh, clay, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the oven uh, at 350 degrees. We're not there yet, we're only at 190, but you know. Uh, normally, I would just use the spaghetti squash with the um, some organic, um, spaghetti sauce and you'd be surprised how much you put some parmesan it really does taste like spaghetti um but instead i'm gonna you know it's all about just using whatever is in the cupboard um as far as i'm concerned but i always have onions in there i try to have bell peppers i have two different kinds because they're on sale and um some zucchini so i'm actually going to mix all these up together so i'm going to go ahead and chop them now while the squash is cooking see how it's doing. Yep. So now the spaghetti squash is in the pan pot and uh, I got some coconut oil in there and then I cut up all these vegetables so we're gonna throw those in there and um, we definitely need some garlic too. What's really cool about spaghetti squash is it really does kind of have a similar texture to spaghetti. Do you see those little those little clumps, those little spaghettis I guess. So there it is, actually. It turned out uh, soupier than I thought, but I guess there's a lot of water in the, those vegetables. That's a good thing. So yeah, everything just kind of uh, married together. Make sure that you add fresh garlic. It's got to be fresh garlic. You really can't underestimate how important that is. So um yeah, some fresh garlic and uh, some, you know, diced tomatoes, and there you go. Super healthy, probably, probably fat-free. All right. See you hey, next time. thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and please share with your friends. Also, check out my website, jenkinodal.com. Mwah.